Okay. Okay, guys, that's enough. Yeah. All right, so what you guys see right here, five. No, no need to make recorded history of you guys not doing what you should be doing. So what you're seeing right here with the Zentangles, like I was just telling you, you have this big complicated image, or sometimes it's just a whole sheet of paper where each section is filled with a pattern. So what I want to see from you guys is you're going to be developing your own Zentangles. So you have this to do. So you're going to have a piece of paper right here. Oh, did Ladybug freeze? Hang on a second. Ladybug doesn't like to be left alone, apparently. Easy enough fix. Okay, shh, guys, enough. I'm teaching, you're learning. That's how this works. All right, so you're gonna have this worksheet. This is what you're working on for the next two days in art class. This is points. You are turning this in for a grade. So you'll notice on this line, it says circles. Everything in this box, in this row, should be a different pattern with circles. Everything in this one should be a different pattern with squares. That's just to give you an idea. You can come up with five different ways to do a square. I mean, that, that's not hard. That, that's easy. All you have to do is think a little bit outside the box. But don't. Triangles, lines, clovers, stars, wavy, free choice. These are all things you can do. Each one of these is one point. You don't do 10 of them, you get 35 points out of 45. So what we can do here, I'm also going to hand you this to get you started. Okay. This will give you a little bit of some ideas about what a Zen Tangle Doodle, what a Zen Doodle can be. So if you take a look, this could totally qualify for circles, even though there's not circles there. You're taking circles and overlapping them. This could qualify as circles. This could qualify as circles. This could qualify as wavy lines. This could qualify as wavy lines. So you're seeing different things that you can do that qualify, this could count as circles. So you're not talking something hard. It does not have to be hard, but it does have to be a pattern that you could fill the box with. So before we do anything else, and I'm gonna pause the recording on the video because I'm gonna link this separately in YouTube. So where's the screen? Not that one, this one. So pause. Back. Okay, so I'm welcome back. back from your YouTube video. So your job for the next two days, this is due by the end of the week for sure. You're going to be filling these in with different patterns. So if I was to do a clover shape, maybe my first one, let's zoom in here. Maybe for a clover shape, my first one could be just to make sure. Oh, okay. Oh, um, that one. Oh, I can see it. Let me turn the light off. Better? Yeah. All right. So what I did was I made an X so that I can make sure my clovers are spaced out. It's just a pattern. You don't have to get too involved with it. This is all about the doodle. So all I did was I made one little thing in the middle, and then I just traced it. It looks harder than what it is. If I choose to, maybe every other one is colored in. So maybe this one's colored in. Maybe I skip one, maybe the next one's colored in. All of those little choices make something different. So that's up to you guys. You will get this example paper so that you can see some different ideas. If you wanna copy some of them, you can, but you're gonna have to figure out some on your own too, because remember, Free choice, you've got 10 of them. So even if you found five circles over here, they're not all gonna be there because I guarantee you there's probably not any clovers in there. There's probably not any stars in there. So you're gonna have to come up with some. So is there any question on that? Okay, this is due by the end of the week. There will be a separate Google Classroom assignment. All you have to do when you turn it in is take a picture of the worksheet that you have 
and attach the picture to the Google Classroom assignment. All right, any questions before I let you guys get started? Yes. Okay. 